Hi everyone, Sasha here, your food evangelist, with another exciting security update for you. So today we'll start with the biggest story of the week. That was the whole IBM acquisition of Red Hat. Big, big deal, $34 billion now forming this massive, whole new cloud security organization. Uh, third biggest tech deal ever in the US and IBM's biggest. So we'll see, what does that mean for security? Uh, how is that gonna work? Is this gonna be good? Is this gonna be bad? We'll follow that story, read more about that below. Uh, next, over to a story we covered a little bit last week, and I mentioned last week about the whole Cathay Pacific breach. Uh, over 9.4 million customers breached their personal data, passports, all kinds of stuff, credit card information. Uh, wasn't, wasn't actually noticed by Cathay Pacific for quite some time, um, back I think over in May, um, before May actually. So this whole thing creates a very, very cloudy territory in terms of GDPR. Uh, the airline was already criticized uh, for how they handled it, much bigger than the BA uh, breach sometime ago earlier in the summer. And now there's a UK law firm actually prepping um, a class action suit. So this will be interesting to follow and this is very new territory, but of course it means bottom line is regulators are not taking any chances. So big fines ahead, be interesting to see that one play out. So keep tuned and uh, read about that below. The next two stories are all about China. Uh, so you probably remember there's these big tariffs that were slapped on by the Trump administration in the summer, um, but the tech sector got away pretty much unscathed there. Uh, now the danger is it might be crunch time uh, because if they don't get a deal set in place, uh, there's a lot of back and forth and it may mean that uh, the US government, the Trump administration is going to slap on another big, big round of tariffs uh, for the remaining Chinese imports. So that's $257 uh, billion dollars, and that's gonna affect the tech manufacturers like Apple. That's gonna come around holiday time uh, that's going to be a big one, so we'll see if they can avoid any kind of confrontation. Otherwise, all those manufacturers are going to start digging deeper into the wall. The next Chinese story is about aviation trade secrets. Now, the U.S. has indicted a few individuals, uh, including some hackers from China, who apparently for the last few years have been after commercial airline aviation secrets in the U.S. Uh, there's also a head of IT involved based in China, so read about that more below. Very interesting about how and where breaches are going and industrial espionage and state-sponsored industrial espionage. So um, interesting information, read up on it below. Um, and then our final story for you gamers out there. Probably heard of Fortnite, one of the most, if not currently the most popular game out there. Um, about 34 million players or more around the world, generating around 300 million dollars through their V-Buck internal gaming microeconomy. Well, a lot of scammers, a lot of hackers, a lot of security threats there. So read about that below as well, how hackers and different people are trying to get money from gamers in very sophisticated ways. So gamers, watch out. What does that mean for security in games? Read about it below. As ever, all the newest stuff for you guys. Any questions, comments, reach out to us. And as always, enjoy your week and stay safe.